Kate Winslet Bio, Wiki, Age, Lifestyle, Net Worth. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we explore the incredible life of Kate Winslet. Learn all about her biography, wiki details, age, lifestyle, and impressive net worth. From her memorable roles in iconic films to her luxurious lifestyle, we cover everything you need to know about this talented actress. Stay tuned to uncover the fascinating story of Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet is an English actress. Known for her roles as headstrong and complicated women in independent films, particularly period dramas, she has received numerous accolades, including an Academy Award, a Grammy Award, two Primetime Emmy Awards, five BAFTA Awards and five Golden Globe Awards. Born, October 5, 1975, age 48 years, reading, United Kingdom. Spouse, Edward Abel Smith, M. 2012, Sam Mendes, M. 2003-2011, Jim Threppleton, M. 1998-2001. Children, Mia Threppleton, Joe Mendes. Parents, Roger Winslet, Sally Bridges Winslet. Siblings, Beth Winslet, Anna Winslet, Joss Winslet. Education, Red Roofs Theatre School. Kate Winslet, net worth $65 million. Early Life Kate Elizabeth Winslet was born on October 5, 1975, in Reading, Berkshire, to Sally Ann, Nay Bridges, and Roger John Winslet. She is primarily of British descent, but also has Irish ancestry on her father's side and Swedish ancestry on her mother's side. Her mother worked as a nanny and waitress, and her father, a struggling actor, took laboring jobs to support the family. Her maternal grandparents were both actors and ran the Reading Repertory Theatre Company. Winslet has two sisters, Anna and Beth, both of whom are actresses, and a younger brother, Joss. The family had limited financial means, they lived on free meal benefits and were supported by a charity named the Actors' Charitable Trust. When Winslet was 10, her father severely injured his foot in a boating accident and found it harder to work, leading to more financial hardships for the family. Winslet has said her parents always made them feel cared for and that they were a supportive family. A sign displaying the name of Red Roofs Theatre School. The Red Roofs Theatre School in Maidenhead, where Winslet was educated. Winslet attended St. Mary and All Saints Church of England Primary School. Living in a family of actors inspired her to pursue acting from a young age. She and her sisters participated in amateur stage shows at school and at a local youth theater named Foundations. When she was five, Winslet made her first stage appearance as Mary in her school's production of the Nativity play. She describes herself as an overweight child and was called blubber by her schoolmates and was bullied for her appearance. She said she did not let this stop her. At 11, Winslet was accepted into the Red Roofs Theater School in Maidenhead. The school also functioned as an agency and took students to London to audition for acting jobs. She appeared in a Sugar Puffs commercial and dubbed for foreign films. At school, she was made head girl, took part in productions of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and The Lion, The Witch and The Wardrobe, and played the lead role of Wendy Darling in Peter Pan. She worked simultaneously with the Starmaker Theatre Company in reading. She participated in over 20 of their stage productions, but was rarely selected as the lead due to her weight. Nonetheless, she played key roles as Miss Agatha Hannigan in Annie, the Mother Wolf in the Jungle Book, and Lena Marelli in Bugsy Malone. In 1991, within two weeks of finishing her GCSE examinations, Winslet made her screen debut as one of the main cast members of the BBC science fiction television series Dark Season written by Russell T. Davies. Her part was that of Reed, a schoolgirl who helps her classmates fight against a sinister man distributing free computers to her school. She did not earn much from the job and, at age 16, lack of funds forced Winslet to leave Red Roofs. To support herself, she worked at a delicatessen. In 1992, she had a small part in the television film Anglo-Saxon Attitudes, an adaptation of Angus Wilson's satirical novel. Winslet, who weighed 13 stone 3 pounds, 84 kilograms, 185 pounds, at the time, played the daughter of an obese woman. During filming, after hearing an offhand comment from the director D. Armwood Lawrence about the likeness between her and the actress who played her mother, Winslet became motivated to lose weight. She next took on the role of the young daughter of a bankrupt self-made man, 
played by Ray Winstone, in the television sitcom Get Back, 1992-1993. She also had a guest role in a 1993 episode of the medical drama series Casualty. Career Early Work and Breakthrough, 1994-1996 Winslet was among 175 women to audition for Peter Jackson's psychological drama Heavenly Creatures, 1994 and was cast after impressing Jackson with the intensity she brought to her part. The New Zealand-based production is based on the Parker Hume murder case of 1954, in which Winslet played Juliet Hume, a teenager who assists her friend, Pauline Parker, played by Melanie Linsky, in the murder of Pauline's mother. She prepared for the part by reading the transcripts of the girls' murder trial, their letters and diaries, and interacted with their acquaintances. She has said she learned tremendously from the job. Jackson filmed in the real murder locations, and the experience left Winslet traumatized. She found it difficult to detach herself from her character, and said that after returning home, she often cried. The film was a critical breakthrough for Winslet, Desson Thompson, a reviewer for The Washington Post, called her a bright-eyed ball of fire, lighting up every scene she's in. Winslet recorded Juliet's aria for the film's soundtrack. Also that year, she appeared as Geraldine Barclay, a prospective secretary, in the Royal Exchange Theatre production of Joe Orton's farce, What the Butler Saw. While promoting Heavenly Creatures in Los Angeles, Winslet auditioned for the minor part of Lucy Steele for a 1995 film adaptation of Jane Austen's novel Sense and Sensibility, written by and starring Emma Thompson. Impressed by her reading, Thompson cast her in the much larger part of the recklessly romantic teenager Marianne Dashwood. The director on Lee wanted Winslet to play the part with grace and restraint, aspects that he felt were missing from her performance in Heavenly Creatures, and thus asked her to practice Tai Chi, read Gothic literature, and learn to play the piano. David Parkinson of Radio Times considered Winslet to be a standout among the cast, and Mick LaSalle of the San Francisco Chronicle took note of how well she had portrayed her character's growth and maturity. The film grossed over $134 million worldwide. She won the Screen Actors Guild and British Academy Film Award for Best Supporting Actress, and received nominations for the Academy Award and Golden Globe Award in the same category. Also in 1995, Winslet featured in the poorly received Disney film A Kid in King Arthur's Court. Winslet had roles in two period dramas of 1996, Jude and Hamlet. As with Heavenly Creatures, her roles in these films were those of women with a mad edge. In Michael Winterbottom's Jude, based on the novel Jude the Obscure by Thomas Hardy, she played Sue Bridehead, a young woman with suffragette leanings who falls in love with her cousin, Jude, played by Christopher Eccleston. The critic Roger Ebert believed the part allowed Winslet to display her acting range, and praised her for the defiance she brought to the role. After unsuccessfully auditioning for Kenneth Branagh's 1994 film Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, she was cast for the part of Ophelia, the doomed lover of the title character, in Branagh's adaptation of William Shakespeare's tragedy Hamlet. Winslet, aged 20, was intimidated by the experience of performing Shakespeare with such established actors as Branagh and Julie Christie, saying the job required a level of intellect that she thought she did not possess. Mike Jeffries of Empire believed that she had played the part well beyond her years. Despite the acclaim, Jude and Hamlet earned little at the box office. Personal Life while filming Dark Season, 15-year-old Winslet began a romantic relationship with actor-writer Stephen Tradre, who was 12 years her senior. She considered him a major influence in her life, and they lived together in London from 1991. They broke up in 1995, but remained close until Tradre died of bone cancer two years later. Winslet decided not to attend the premiere of Titanic to attend his funeral. In 2008, she said that she had not overcome his death. A pregnant Kate Winslet poses for the camera. A year after Treater's death, Winslet met Jim Threppleton on the set of Hideous Kinky, on which he served as an assistant director. They married in November 1998 at her primary school in Reading, and their daughter, Mia Threppleton, was born in 2000. Describing her marriage to Threppleton as a mess, Winslet later said she had lost control of her instincts during this period. They divorced in 2001.